Hello and welcome to episode number six of Crypto Cartography. Today we are talking insurance and crypto. This is the first crypto organization where we have financial valuation metrics that we can quantitatively assess this organization with. Very exciting. We have 10 minutes. This will mostly be a quantitative valuation. Let's get into it. We're talking Nexum Mutual, cash tag NXM. About $255 million market cap at the moment, $36 per token. Very, very quick history is that there's not much history. Um, token issuance was on July 11th, 2020. Today it's August 13th, 2020, so a very early coin. I just want you to know, be careful, this NXM, when you purchase it, this, you are actually joining a legal entity in the UK. If you simply want to price speculate on NXM, we do have wrapped NXM, WNXM, that as you'll notice, $39 versus $36. There is a slight premium on my wrapped NXM that I can participate in DeFi and on Ethereum with. So if you want to price speculate, we do have that available for us. Let's jump into a very quick qualitative overview. Here's the website. This is a people power alternative to insurance. Let's have a quick look at the Word document. Going over to the white paper, a peer-to-peer -peer discretionary mutual on the Ethereum blockchain wonderful. If we're looking, they do have their tokenomics here, which we'll get back to in a little bit. Um, they do have a wonderful tracker that we'll look to as well. And they are on DeFi Pulse, I believe down here, number 13, which we'll get back to as well. Um, one minute qualitative assessment, our TLDR investment thesis. Nexus, uh, Nexus Mutual is simply decentralized coverage of risk. They don't like the word uh, insurance, but it is decentralized insurance and it's using blockchain technology to create a risk sharing pool known as a mutual. So there is no company, the mutual, which is a digital cooperative, which they define and is run, is run by its members. Trust is given to the mutual slash the cooperative and not to a company, a centralized company and nor to any individual member of the mutual. So really quickly, our valuation propositions. First product is they've released smart coverage insurance first of its kind. Their nth product is coverage of real-world contracts. Now, most people might think that real-world insurance coverage will increase their TAM massively, and that's true. I'm more interested in Nex Nexus Mutual becoming the gold standard in smart contract risk coverage, and then smart contract risk coverage simply grows exponentially. So that's really what I want, and I think they can do both, but I really think most of the growth here will be in digital insurance of, risk of smart contracts and DLT technology. Um, feel free to read the rest of this and pause the video. We're going to go jump right into quantitative analysis. So we've got a lot here. Um, let's do what we always do. Let's say we start with $1,000 here in green. Um, at, at about a $35 price, we're looking at we're going to get about 28 tokens based on our hard supply. And that is wrong, 7056559. It looks like our circulating supply can change over time, which is odd. Um, we'd actually be getting, yes, around 28 tokens. Let me just view the formula bar here so that you can see this as well. Wonderful, about 28 tokens. Um, here is our current coverage risk that Nexus actually has statistics on. Here is their coverage. They're covering around 36 million inactive covers at the moment. Um, that's broken up between ETH and DAI. So the price of the Nexus, to the Nexus token is tied to the ETH, ETH price. If ETH goes up, the Nexus mutual ecosystem should grow as well because not only the active cover is um, in ETH, but also the capital pool, which is right here, our capital pool. Our capital pool is actually about 57 million. So let's look at these two numbers. Total active risk covers 37, total capital pool or total value locked in terms of DeFi um, is 57 million. So we have a capital pool per surplus or over collateralization by about 19 million, or what I look at as a capital pool to active cover percentage of 152%, one to 52%. What they care about is, and what their members care about, is the minimum capital requirement, which you can see is right here, 90,000 ETH divided by 140 ETH, gets me to about, and there's the numbers, multiplied by my total capital pool, gets me to an, um, that is my MRC, effectively. So we have a capital pool, a total value locked by members, that's greater than the minimum capital requirement by 150, around 155%. So that's their little buffer. I've read a blog post that they're not going to let this MCR percentage get below 130. 
and the members have the ability to change the minimum capital requirement or the minimum capital floor um, to increase that to then increase our um, MCR percentage. So they do have that flexibility and they are going to protect themselves just like a traditional insurance company. If you are investing in Nexus Mutual, this is pretty much these, these kind of um, metrics need to be uh, automated and tracked. Um, so join the community if you buy these tokens and, you know, talk to other people who are tracking these metrics. We have much many more metrics to talk about. Total DeFi TVL is about 6.4 billion. So if we take our total coverage and we divide it by the total um, DeFi coverage, we're really getting about 0.6% of active DeFi coverage. So very small amount. We're going to forecast that just in, in a little bit. Follow, follow me down here to our estimated Nexum risk coverage revenue. These are all forecasts. Um, I did hear this on a blog or on a podcast with the CEO, is that every, every active risk cover revenue percentage is about 1.3%, with the thought process being you and I can own can earn 10% on our stable coins and 1.3 is a reasonable uh, premium to be paid on that. Really quickly, um, small bit of alpha release for you. Have a look at the coverage page and then have a look who, which organizations are getting cover. Um, invest in DeFi protocols and platforms that do buy insurance on their platforms. There's a couple of big names here um, that I won't say, but you can see right there and check it out on this page. Um, back to our estimated revenue. So if we know that we make 1.3% for every insurance co um, coverage, well, let's multiply our active coverage, 37 million times 1.3. So our estimated revenue on our current risk coverage is about 486. What I've thought is that our risk coverage yearly turnover is around four. So that would mean an estimated average three-month risk coverage contract time. And based on that, we can multiply our estimated current revenue times four and get a total estimated annual risk coverage revenue of about 1.9 million. If I divide my current market cap of 243 divided by our annual revenue, we get some sort, we get a market cap to revenue next 12 months NTM. It's the mutuals market cap to revenue next 12 months revenue multiple, which is 124. Um, insurance multiples are very low in the public markets for very, very large companies, but obviously we're at a very, very young stage that requires a high multiple. This, this number might, might not make complete sense, and I wanted to compare it to 10Ks of insurance companies, but found that a little too difficult at the moment. Um, so this number is definitely just, just a bit of a guideline. Let's go over to our better, our better metrics. Number one, we have our risk coverage multiple. And we also have a TVL multiple as well. What are these? Well, we're simply taking our two market caps, our market cap of um, the current market cap and our fully diluted market cap. We're dividing it by our risk, our total risk coverage, and we're getting a multiple. So our market cap to risk coverage multiple is about 6.49%. So if my risk coverage increase and more people want smart contract insurance, I'm going to see an increase in my market cap that's hopefully, uh, hopefully relatively in the realm of five to six X. Um, I'd love to compare this to somebody else, but no other DeFi uh, with value locked up, there are dollars and DAI and ETH locked up, is providing insurance. So we don't have any comparables yet. Um, so that's why I also had a look at total value locked multiples. Here we've got our largest kind of DeFi um, comparables, even though they do different financial services, this is the best we can do. We also have their market cap and fully diluted market cap. Take a look at which ones have a massive difference in their fully diluted market cap to market cap, and that indicates some fully diluted risk here. Um, we've also got our total value lock. So the same thing, we're taking our market cap or our fully diluted market cap, we're dividing it by TVL, and then we're getting multiples. Once we have those multiples, here's our range. As you can see, our range goes from 0 0.04 all the way point up to 0.84 for market cap to TVL. And it goes from 0.45 all the way up to 15 for fully diluted market cap to TVL. How does that sit for Nexus? Well, Nexus has about a 4.26x um, market cap to TVL ratio or multiple. And that leads us first in terms of um, the public comparable set and then third in terms of fully diluted market cap. So certainly um, their multiples high. It doesn't mean much, but it's just a little bit of a barometer. Um, let's go down to some actual forecasts. Let's say I estimated these increases in the DeFi TVL. 
uh, 10 billion, 25, 100 billion, 250, 1.1 and 1 trillion. Let's say I estimated the nexus coverage, which is 0.6% of total DeFi locked up, to move up to 1, 2, 3, 2, and 1.25% respectively for my increases in total value locked up. That means here's our dollar amounts for all of our different um, Nexum coverage. If I apply the multiples that we just figured out from our TVL locked up of, um, actually, it shouldn't be 6.49. We should go down to 4.26. So if I do use that, and then we slowly decrease our multiple over time, pretty much discounting um, future cash flows, and we do discount it over time, we can get to an estimated Nexum market cap. Because our total supply is fixed, I can get to an estimated Nexum token price. Um, and then I can get to, we invested $1,000 um, at the start of this exercise, and now I can get to an estimated investment value for that. So with estimated um, total values or total Nexum coverage, if we get to $500 million covered on Nexum, we'd be looking at a $2 million market cap 4x multiple and a token price of 286 and each token would be worth about $800. Let's say we really hit it out of the park and Nexum is now covering $5 billion in assets of the $250 billion in DeFi um, in five or 10 years. Well, we'd look at a 3x multiple. We'd look at a $15 million Nexum estimated market cap for a token price of about two grand. And we'd be looking at a healthy 500% return at a $60,000 Nexum price. Um, so do you think membership in the world's first decentralized insurance um, cooperative should be worth in the tens of thousands, potentially in the future? Um, so down here, quickly, um, for some, just for, for qualitative purposes, I did sketch out um, our two big um, comparables. We have risk coverage insurance with Wiren. Wiren's a big one because they don't do KYC. We have Ether Risk, DIP Token, and a couple other services that I haven't heard of. B3I is a consortium. Uh, Dynamis is P2P insurance. Teambrella is doing flight insurance. IBM and Fizzy. I don't know if Fizzy's still around. And then we also have our non-DLT leg legacy insurance. These players are multi-billion dollar um, multinationals that could get into this space if they wanted to. Also, here's your portfolio classifications. If you don't have these classifications in your altcoin portfolio, this could be a great token that you could purchase. Last but not least, we're a little over time, but let's go to our potential outcomes. Like always, all crypto projects have the risk of failure. Um, any time horizon, I've given this 25% just because we're so early and you could lose all of your capital. We could sell in this third BTC bull run, look for about 1,000. Um, zero to a thousand percent gains as this thing becomes a multi-billion dollar entity. Um, we could sell in the third BTC bull run, look for that two thousand to ten thousand dollar, um, ten thousand percent gain, wait five or seven years, and then we could be a hodler, we could be a network participant, we could participate in risk assessment, claims assessment, and governance. Um, and if you are into insur insurance, uh, uh, law, um, risk governance, um, DeFi governance, I would highly recommend it. I think I've cut over time. Goodbye.